Hi everybody, I'm going to try to do this quick video on this dragon nail that I did on my sister and I feel like it's a great beginner option that looks like an advanced design. So first you're going to start off with a black painted nail cured and you're going to rub on the chrome. I did it gently because I noticed that if I dragged my finger sometimes it would pull it off a little bit. Something to help with that is you could also use a foil gel. So now I'm using any top coat, top coating the top and wiping it off. And I'm gonna go in with my builder gel to create the eye folds. This is really important. You're not gonna wanna do this with a regular top coat. You need something that's gonna hold its shape. I flip it upside down sometimes cause I feel like it helps gravity pull it down and it'll give it the most height that I'm looking for. Um, if it ends up running into another line, that's okay. Just add a little bit more after you cured it on top to just try to raise it a little bit more. Once you've finished your whole design and curing it fully you're going to pat slash rub on more chrome then we're going to go with a glitter bells black gel and their 20 millimeter liner brush and you're going to just go in between the grooves to try to add a little bit more depth sorry guys the camera was shaking i was trying to make this video fast but um, you really don't need precision with this design as long as you place it pretty much where it belongs. And you're gonna pat it. I kinda just didn't want like the lines to be all jagged so I patted to try to like smooth it out and give it like a different look. Now we're gonna go in with our water that does have soap in it. You stir it up to get the bubbles and you grab any top coat. I'm using the Tracy, uh, Tracy Nails or Colorland top coat. I'm putting a generous amount on the top half of the nail but trying to put a thin amount on the eye folds because I don't want it to level out and we lose our humps then I'm just using a cuticle pusher and grabbing some soap and putting it on top cure it for a full minute or two and when it comes out you just wipe off the bubbles and you'll have your design now I grab two colors a light blue and a dark blue the reason why I'm mixing a little bit of builder gel into the light blue is because I got some of the texture on the inside part of the eye. So I wanted to smooth it out and level it out. If you don't end up getting any, you know, texture that ends up on the inside part of the eye, you could skip that part and just go into two layers of the light blue. Now guys, please don't be upset with me. I thought I recorded this part and I didn't. But basically what you have to do is put a thin layer of builder gel. And then I took a brush, put a dot of dark blue on either corner of the eye. Wipe the brush off because you don't want a lot. You just want a little bit. And you just zigzag inwards towards the center of the eye going all the way around. And it gives you this beautiful like iris look. And then you're going to follow the steps to... Um, the pupil part and my favorite favorite part at the end is putting that builder gel on top to really bring that eye to its next level once i get it to where i like it i just flip it upside down to try to get a nice even um like hump cure it wipe and good to go Thank you guys for watching this video i appreciate you for your time and i hope it helps if you did watch the whole thing to the end and attempted please drop it down below in the comments i would love to see your attempt bye guys